Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Alright, let's get into doing some different things here. Someone had asked about doing the EKG or the heartbeat things, how to make your own. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Now I chose this shape. You can choose the rectangle or whatever shape you want your line to be in. So I made that. I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to duplicate however many times you want. Okay, so let's move these out of the way for a minute. And instead of turning them, because I can never manage to get them equal, I use these little buttons right here to help. Alright, so let's lay it on the line right there, close to it. So that'll be my starter. Okay. You can either have it go below the line, however you want to design your heartbeat to go. Usually like that then like this and this one will actually go below the line I'm trying to keep it the same width I ticked off the keep proportions box and increased the height Just make sure your ends match up. And this is how you go about building it. I need to decrease that. Oops, make it a little wider. There we go. Union them all and then double check your ends here, 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 all them. Make sure they look okay. This one I'm not really liking the way that looks. And if you need to, you can always fill it in, note edit, whatever you want. Okay. So there you go. There's your EKG, heartbeat, whatever you want. You can add a shape in there um, if you want to. So here's the end of the EKG. So now let's say if you want to add a shape in there, a heart or something. Okay. Shadow layer. Okay, because we want a true same thickness outline all the way around this. Do a back minus front, or you can do exclude too. So let's decrease this in size. Okay, now of course to make it thicker, you do all of that in your um, heart area there. Okay. Now, depending on what you want to do, if you want to have 
this a certain length however you want to do it so let's see here okay if you want to have this at the end of course you're just going to click union um, if you want it to be oops if you want it to be in the middle here of course what you need to do first before you do the back minus front is you're going to take the solid heart see if I can get this to be the same size oh, let's try this that's about right and this one will be a front or okay, minus front because you want to keep the back and subtract the front there we go we're going to put this in here about right there and path union that and that's how you go about sticking things in there okay so just take the solid do the back minus fronts and all of that and that's how you go about making one of those things that seem to be really popular nowadays all right guys if you have any questions find me over at scan and cut canvas and scale help on facebook thanks guys